Headlights should also be dimmed when an animal or pedestrian is sighted on a rural road. And speed should be reduced to prepare for evasive action. Find and confuse them and cause them to enter the path of your vehicle. Actually, blinding glare is one of the main hazards of nighttime driving that make it necessary for us to modify our normal daytime driving techniques, especially the blinding headlight glare from oncoming vehicles. We should drive in the lane that separates us most from approaching traffic. We should focus our attention on the right-hand edge of the roadway, beyond the oncoming vehicle, to avoid the bright glare of his headlights. It takes our eyes at least seven seconds to readjust after passing a pair of brilliant headlights. We actually travel for a distance when we are effectively blind. If an oncoming driver doesn't dim his lights, don't retaliate. Keep your lights on low beam, slow down, and focus your attention to the right side, using the road edge or pavement edge stripe as your guide. Steer toward the right to avoid the natural tendency to drive toward oncoming lights when partially blinded by them. When weather conditions are bad, blinding glare is even more of a hazard. Visibility through the windshield is greatly reduced and images become distorted and hard to recognize. And remember, the drivers ahead of you, behind you, and approaching you may be having difficulty in seeing too. A dirty windshield, both inside and outside, can also be treacherous. Not only is visibility reduced, but road oils, smoke, dirt, and car wash wax can cause intense glare and distortion of the clues we look for to help us drive safely. With limited visibility, you can't see clearly everything you need to see to drive safely, and the effectiveness of your headlights are greatly reduced. There are other ways in which we can help to avoid glare while driving at night. When being followed by a vehicle with bright lights, switch the daylight rearview mirror to the night position and avoid looking directly into the mirror. Avoid using the dome light, the map light, or flashlights within the car. Adjust the instrument panel lights to a lower intensity, leaving it just bright enough to read the critical instruments. Sunglasses or tinted glasses should never be worn from early dusk to sunrise. Our daytime driving habits have to be modified if we are to drive safely at nighttime. During the daylight hours, our eyes scan a wide area in front and toward the oncoming traffic. Every action far ahead can be quickly seen and recognized. At nighttime, the scanning pattern of our eyes is different. We focus closer to the car and to the right side of the road. We no longer have the wide, clear vision and contrast of color. We must concentrate on watching for dark objects and shadowy movements in and beside the road, especially the unexpected objects, which we see only half as well as familiar or expected objects. In urban areas, with the conflicting glare of signs and lights, it is even more difficult to see hazards or pedestrians in and along the roadway. Speed should be reduced and the road and the curbside watched for the unlit pedestrians and objects. There are road aids that have been designed to give us quickly recognized clues and guides for safer nighttime driving. It's important that we learn what these aids are meant to tell us. Aids to channel us into a safe driving pattern lane markers to guide us on multiple lane highways, and pavement edge markings to define the right edge of roadways. And many of the disadvantages of night driving we can make up for ourselves by modifying our driving techniques to conditions of limited visibility. Nighttime is a time to drive more slowly than we would under similar circumstances during daylight. It's a time to dim your lights for others and avoid the glare of their headlights by focusing on the right side of the roadway. At night, it's even more important to be certain that headlights and windshield are clean. It's a time to know and use the special road aids that are designed to guide you when you're limited to the visibility 
provided by your headlights. The time to modify your driving techniques, habits, and know the additional actions that are required when driving at night.